All right, chapter 1.9, I learned about the no arbitrage argument. So no arbitrage argument. So suppose that I do the following. So I enter into a forward contract and I agree to pay F at time t to get asset s. All right, so this is what a forward contract is. I agree in the future, so t is sometime in the future, I agree to pay f to get the asset s. And so to d, t is today's time, uh, t is the future, and uh, let's say S of T is the spot price of the asset. Uh, let's say it's a stock for S. So what's what happens? My future profit and loss will be F negative F plus S of T. So I pay F and I get S of T in the future. Right away, nothing happens. All right, now also suppose that I short the asset. All right, so what happens when I short the stock? I immediately get cash value of S of T for the current value of the stock. And I owe the stock later then later, I have to give back the asset. The future value. All right, so what do I do with the cash? Meanwhile, I invest the cash and I get an interest rate on that. So I have S of T now uh, in the future, what will I have? I'll have S of T times E to the R, then the difference of times, how long did I invest the money? So I'm, there's an interest rate R, I'm investing the cash I got from the short, and then also I have to cover my short. All right, so I do both of these at the same time. Let's make a, a table here. So I have today time T and future capital T, and then I have the forward contract. I have the stock, and I have cash. So right now, today, I enter the forward contract, nothing happens. I short the stock, so I go negative S of T, and by shorting the stock, I get the cash, right? Then in the future, the forward contract, I pay F and I get the stock. In the future, the stock I have shorted here and the stock price has been fluctuating so it now is at the future time. And the cash has been getting some interest. All right, so what can this chart tell us? So if you look at today, it adds up to zero. I started with no money down, and I shorted the stock and invested the money, entered a contract here that didn't require any cash payments. I'm, I'm breaking even here. There's no money to start with. If I add up the future, you can see that the my forward position covered my short position, and I still had to pay F, and I have money in the bank. So I have negative F plus S of t, u the r t minus t. The no arbitrage argument basically says that if I don't start out with any money, I don't end up with any money. If I start out with nothing, I end with nothing. And you think about it, you know, what if this wasn't zero? If this wasn't zero, that means I could have started with nothing and generated free money. And the no arbitrage argument says, that doesn't happen. You can't do that. 
So this we can say equals zero. And so f equals s of t e to the r t minus t. So the forward uh, contract price is directly related to the current spot price with a time value of money factor. And this is derived under the no arbitrage argument, which means if this is violated, I can, I can trade and make money for free. And so this is cool. So this is a, an argument that lets you compute things that have to be true. And if they're not, you can make free money. So if you know how to make free money, please let me know.